Hey y'all, Farmer Dre back at it today. We are gonna go ahead and uh, start welding the uh, clips of the pipes. Yesterday we got all the pipes in, and today my brother Adrian, we're gonna and he's gonna weld um, the clips on there. He's a welder of the family. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how we're gonna do that. But that's what we're doing today. I got my brother Isaac. He's mowing. I gotta go turn the irrigation. So it's a it's a real busy day. I'm gonna take you guys along with me today and uh, show you guys, you know. How, how, how my day is going today so you guys stay tuned for that if you guys haven't already go ahead hit that subscribe button like this video if you guys have any questions comments anything like that leave them down in the question uh, the, the comment section below don't forget to hit that little tiny bell notification bell so you guys can be notified whenever i do post a video and uh you guys stay tuned it's just another busy day here on the farm all right so real quick i want to show you guys the trailer and the tractor setup we have for the welder so as you guys saw in my previous video i connected this to the trailer we got the drive set to the tractor and then we were going to make a support for this one, but this goes in our shop. So um, we weren't going to strap it on here 100%, so we just got a ratchet strap from underneath it. Tied it on there. He's got the welder here. And then we put a toolbox on the back to keep all the electrodes and all the, you know, clips and stuff. And these are the clips we're going to use for the for the support for the wire. So he already welded one to just to get started here. So this is the how it's going to look. So the wire is going to come through here. This is the end post. We're going to just wrap the wire around and a few times and strap it through. So we got this fancy pipe here for all the uh, measurements beforehand. And we already uh, made some marks in here with the grinder. So we're just going to go at every post, uh, put the put the post along the post here and mark. You know, it's every 28 inches. So you can do one on top, one down here, one here, and one, two, one, two foot above the ground. So that's the setup for today. And he has 400 of these clips to put in. So he has a lot of work. Every post, there's 90 posts in here. 90 times four, it's like 380 something. My dad bought 400 just in case we mess up or something. So this is the setup. We got the uh, the C clamp here because the, the the ground needs to be connected. So if you guys are welders, you guys already know the setup here. So just getting stuff done today. So. So our peach trees are actually growing pretty good now. My brother Isaac, he's mowing. So I put that roundup around all the trees, the glyphosate. But as you guys can tell, the glyphosate only kills what's green. So all that stuff, all the seeds and the, the, the Johnson grass grew back. So I got to come back with another, another application just to uh, burn it off, knock it off. But these trees are just growing like crazy. They're just loving it. So brother Isaac, he's mowing around all the baby trees. I got to come through with some more uh, glyphosate here. Probably either today or tomorrow, and uh, make sure they're all nice and clean, ready to go for the season. So, you know, you think you did once, but it's not really a good idea to use a pre-emergent for these baby trees because these baby trees, they're, they're taint, they're babies. So, if you put a pre-emergent herbicide that kills the, uh, to kill the, um, the seeds, you might have a chance to kill the trees as well. So. So our peaches, ever since we put that turkey manure down, they're just loving it. I mean, they're just growing. This, we have a lot of rain lately, so the rain, and then we probably got to start irrigating these because we haven't had a good amount of rain in about a week or so, and these require about an inch of rain a week. So it is supposed to, it's overcast today. We're supposed to get a little bit of rain, but nothing sufficient to have um, enough. So 
these trees are grown and produce hopefully we're we'll see some production off these next year so now I am in our outside of vegetable garden this is where we plant all those uh, plants and I got to turn on the irrigation since even though we're gonna supposed to get rain under the plastic no water gets under the plastic here so what we did here I set up the header line when was it a week two weeks ago I don't remember when I put this in so what we're doing here is I'm running the lines with um, everything else but the tomatoes and the tomatoes I'm running separate so right now these five lines of tomatoes are turned off I'm gonna turn these on there's uh, seven rows here I'm gonna let them run for about for a couple of hours make sure they get plenty of water they need about an inch of rain a week so we do this every other day let them off for about two hours and that just pretty good on there so everything's growing nicely now i gotta come through and stake them i keep saying that i gotta come stake them and stake them but i just we just don't have the time and it's just gotta find the stakes and stuff so as you can tell they're already starting to set fruit there so gotta come through and make sure they're all staked up and nicely because you know you gotta have nice strong trellis for these uh uh, uh, tomato production so as you guys can see here this is where the bed the bed maker didn't make a good bed or good enough bed and it laid water so i'm just going to come to make a small hole so the water can leach in there so this is our outside vegetable garden it's it's doing pretty good overall our cucumbers and squashes are just now blooming so you know they say about four four weeks from bloom they should be producing so we're getting close to harvest so I just turn on the water. We just have a simple filter here and I have to clean it out every time I irrigate because It's just we have so much water coming through here. We don't want to ruin the emitters on the irrigation there. So Like I said these four seven lines here running and the reason we don't have a pressure regulator is because there's so many lines running That we don't you know, there's not that, that much pressure to blow up the lines So we just starting to sprinkle now. I'm let this run for a couple of hours and we're gonna Gotta go help out Adrian with the welding and drive the tractor, do whatnot. So, a lot of projects going on today on the farm, but gotta get stuff done. Alrighty, so two, uh, four hours has passed now. The irrigation been running. My brother Adrian, he just uh, left the farmer's market. He welded two of those rows of pipes, and then I gotta go finish mowing with my brother Isaac. He uh, didn't quite finish. He has, he has to go stand at our stand at uh, 13 because we got, you know, we got a lot of stuff going on. We got our orders for the bakery going out. So the Isaac's going to go sit, stay at the stand. I got to go finish what he started mowing. And then I got to go pick tomatoes in the high tunnel for tomorrow at the farmer's market. So just a busy day. Go, go, go every day, all day. So. halfway through point I just got them picking one of these black crates full out of these uh, three rows here plus Carolina gold on the bottom there then I got to do this whole side but I'm uh, super hot in here the wind is blowing but I'm just dying of heat in here man it's just the tomatoes are loving it but I'm not loving it too much because I got to bend over working here so it is hot but you know what I work so hard and there's no point in not picking the tomatoes so I'm gonna go ahead and finish uh, Got three more rows here, see how many, 70 pounds I can pick up. So I am just coming through here, coming along pretty good, and I just came across, I mean, just these tomatoes are just beautiful. I tell you what, I picked probably a half dozen of these already, just, just off of this row here, off the, and look at that, just absolutely, just a quick wipe, a wiping down with a, with a towel, and they are good to go. Let's see if we can find, look how many green ones are here. Well, that's what I just do come through here. Look, a yellow tomato. 
nice and pretty. Look at this right here. Here's a perfect example. Oh snap. Beautiful. Pick them off the vine tomatoes. That's just gorgeous. That's some uh, early blight right there. But once these plants are done for, I'm just going to pull them out of here. So, Just look at these tomatoes. Coming on like crazy. Alright, so just got done picking. There was a lot more of these orange ones on here. But I'm just going to leave them until... Like these. Leave them until the next Tuesday. And I think I just missed them. If I can look right here. Yeah, those are... Pretty much, well, right here is just to go over debate, see if he wants to pick them or not. Probably leave those till next Tuesday then. So, just got done. These are the ones we're going to sell tomorrow at the farmer's market. Close to another 80 pounds or so, so it's just time. I mean, you, you, take, your, you take your time to grow these, and then whenever you find a nice tomato like this one right here, it just makes your day because it's just so pretty and beautiful. And there's a lot of them. There's a few seconds of these. Are more, more of these eaten by bugs. Not really seconds. It's just the bugs got to them. So now we got to take them in the warehouse and grade them. And get them ready for tomorrow. Alrighty. So in our warehouse now. And it's just the same procedure coming through here. Wiping them down. Because there's a bunch of dust and... Uh, this is whenever I sprayed them, that stuff it just wipes off because the PHI is over with. So, and then on some of these, are, this is the gray mold. I spray some copper for that, so I just gotta wipe them down and make sure they're nice and clean. I like taking off the stems, like I uh, mentioned in the previous video, to uh, make it look like a perfect nice tomato here. So, so if you guys, if you like the wind's blowing here, we got this big old uh, turkey farm fan in here, so it keep me cool. I was all sweating now and now I'm cooling off and I like to work whenever it's cooler so we got the big fan up there making a lot of uh, wind in here so pull me off and pull off the tomatoes and keep the wind the dust down in here so I'm just gonna finish going through these tomatoes and finishing them off here alrighty so I just got done grading these as you guys can tell they're super nice and shiny this time the lights are off and you guys can tell just beautiful we got about 25 pounds of the seconds here. These are where that bug, that army bug came through and ate the skin off it. The, the fruit the, the fruit itself is still good. It's just you can't sell that as number one. And there's a few in here, I mean just large. They're a little damaged there, but... And this one, you know, customers that are not scared to rip, take off, cut off the bad ones. You know, but that's... At how, many, how many I picked, there's only about 25 pounds there of the, sec the seconds, but everything else in here... There's a lot of different small ones, you know, all just kinds of kinds of stuff. So it's just somewhat, you know, just writing down a few marks there. But, you know, my customers don't really mind that much. They care about more, more about flavor and how I display them there at the market. So you got a few small ones and a few, you know, large. There's a few, quite a bit large ones in here too. And then these large Carolina Gold. Most of these are already sold to a pre-order I have. And these are just the green tomatoes that fall down when I'm picking. So... This is the tomato picking from today, you know, so it's just pretty good picking, it's just we're not at the level we were. I remember last year, last year we were picking, you know, the most I picked was like 575 pounds in one afternoon and I was able to sell them all within the next, you know, three to four days, so they're just now starting to come on. Today, I, I think in total I picked 80 pounds number ones and 25 pounds, so 100, 105 pounds. For a day and I picked I think 65 or 70 pounds on Tuesday so not bad for you know getting started here so as you guys saw there's a lot more green ones out there there's probably you know my, my goal is pick about 10,000 pounds of tomatoes and I'm getting there and they're just not coming on my goal is to hit at least a thousand pounds a week this uh, year so we'll see how it comes out but these tomatoes now they'll all be sold at the farmers market tomorrow they're just nice and pretty and beautiful alrighty so now I am between our high tunnels here, this is where we just got done picking tomatoes. Just look at the massive suckers right there. Everywhere. Anyways, we got to get this tunnel here up and running. These are already to start setting fruit. There's a bunch of small green fruit on this. And we want to size up a lot quicker. I have farmer ice here. Staking these, getting them ready, make sure they're ready up and running. Stake, so you guys can tell here, they're starting to get the size. They're probably going to start churning here. 
These are the Royal Carolina Golds. We got some more red dudes. These are the peppers that I planted in here. Just look at this massive. So what I got to do on these, I, I got to feed them some uh, high potassium fertilizer. Just beautiful red dudes in shape up here. So what I have here is this is where, this is where my header head header line goes in. So this is where the header line. And then I'm going to pump this ear this fertilizer here. It's high potassium fertilizer, the one I've been using. And then we have this. Uh, this contraption where it sucks up the nutrients I bought this off Amazon so if you guys want one like this the link will be in the description box below it just uses the um, the water pressure to pick up water and pump it through and an essential thing whenever you guys do pump fertilize make sure you let the water turn on first so by letting the water turn on the irrigation lines get full water and you're not wasting any fertilizer going through there so what I like to do I like turning it on, then I go get the fertilizer ready. I'm putting a pound of uh, 91530 on these right now. One pound to, uh, we have about 200, 200 or so plants in here. So one pound to that many plants. And I let the irrigation run for a while. And then I turn it off, connect the siphoner, and then go through and let it pump out until it's empty. And then I'll just come through and turn off the water and make it direct drive. Or make it direct um the header hose to the hose so i'm going to connect this real quick to start letting the irrigation roll through here so alrighty. so the bucket is now empty i just connected it back straight to it let that run for about you know i usually let them off for an hour every other day in here so my brother isaac he's going to come and clean this up in between the high tunnels because if you have big weeds around then it could uh a lot of bugs and weed uh diseases to live in the in the weeds and we don't want that to happen so He's gonna clean it up. He's actually just messing around with the weed eater right there. So I'm gonna make him cut that right there and uh, we'll see what we can do. Alrighty, so now what I'm doing is the water just turned off. An hour has passed and uh, now I'm just watering the greenhouse here. Make sure these blackberries got some pansies and stuff over there. I think we're just gonna toss those, but it is what it is, you know. Can't sell them. So these blackberries are going in the ground on Monday all of them and uh that's the bottom line we're not going to slack anymore we don't we don't have the time and these blackberries need to go on the ground it's already the middle of june and if we want them to be six foot tall by the end of the year we need them to go on the ground like yesterday but it is what it is it's gonna finish watering off the greenhouse and uh we'll see what we can do Alrighty, guys that is gonna be pretty much it for today we did a lot of stuff i was kind of everywhere but, you know, it is what it is. We've got a lot of projects going here on the farm. So, it's been a long day. A lot of work. We've got a lot of work done in. So, i got to go through probably uh, tomorrow after the farmer's market. Because tomorrow we all go to farmer's markets. We do two farmer's markets tomorrow. I go up to the one in Bolivar. And then my brother Adrian and Isaac, they do the one in uh, Springfield. So, it's just try to get as much as we can during the week. And on the weekends we're busy. So, you know, slowly and surely we're going to get everything done here on the farm. So, that is going to be pretty much it for today. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like this video. Comment down below if you guys have any questions, comments, anything like that. Leave a, a like on this video because if you guys leave a like, it lets YouTube know that you guys enjoy my content. And then it promotes my channel. YouTube does. And then it, I get more uh, followers and subscribers. So, that's the point. That, that was the point for me doing this platform anyway. So, Tell all your friends, family, everything about me, you know, let them know that, you know, you're supporting a 21-year-old farmer, you know, do some stuff here in Southwest Missouri. So, I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. You guys have a good day, and we'll see you next time.